So the Bluetooth is on. I see here Orimo Smart Gimbal. That's it. And it's pairing. It's pairing. And we are paired. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kadio and I have with me a special someone. Oh, Gimbal, EJ. Yeah, so today we're going to do like a review of the Gimbal. A lot of people have asked for me to review the Gimbal that I unboxed, the Rhino Gimbal. So I'll have to leave it to him to do the review while I chain up, guys. Yo, yo, yo! The Gimbal! We're reviewing the Gimbal! Alright! channel due to popular request i'm going to review the arrival game by with ova basically he's going to review it i'm just here to you know flow with vibe so guys let's jump right into the video let's take a dive right in <laughs> hi guys so this is ova college he has a new youtube channel you can check him out he has amazing content and today he's going to join us on this channel to yep. review the gimbal so i'm just going to leave him to introduce himself and then tell us about the gimbal the do's the don'ts how to use it the challenges your space to use it all right how come i'm going doing it like haven't you used this as well oh i've used it but i've used it for like like a phone stand i used it for recording receiving calls all right. but i'm not done like I'm not using, yeah. Right. Okay, cool, cool. So yo, I'm Obi Paul EJ. Uh new on YouTube right now. It's <laughs> what it is. Uh, yeah, I have uh, is. a channel design, anime, productivity kind of stuff. Yeah. And we're figuring the rest out. So we're here, Caddy L. It's a pleasure to be on Caddy L. Hi Caddy L subscribers. Yay, guys. <laughs> Say hi to me in the comment section. That's what it is. So um uh, the Rhino gimbal is pretty cool. I like the style. I was getting tired of like having phone stands and buying stuff, so I saw this and uh, the price was pretty good. It was 15k for a gimbal. Now, if you know anything about phone stands, phone stands are like pretty cheap, like 5k, 10k. But a gimbal is like 100 and something upwards, you know, yeah. because videographers they do what they do. Um, but this is a gimbal. So the first thing is like. You have the basic features of the gimbal, so it's automated. And then if you have a phone, it gets you to keep this at a straight angle while you use your phone. So like it's always like twisting with the phone and then you can use it like for weird angles. Um, it extends. So you can use it for like a regular selfie stick. It has a, a selfie button right here. And that works pretty fine. And we could shoot whatever. Um, the best thing and the, the sweetest feature for me is the stand. So this like stands right on your table or wherever you like have to like, you know, make this like a little bit shorter so like it elevates a bit. And that has been like the best use case for me. It's portable. I put it like anywhere on my phone stand. I could like charge it because like this is automated and it's it's just easy, collapsible, real quick, efficient, I pack this anywhere where I want to go, bring it out, use it as a stand and it's been great, really, I, I like it, if you're looking for something that could work as a, you know, outdoor shooting, really mobile, move fast with, I would definitely recommend it, I haven't had any issues charging it, using it, I don't know about the battery life. Have you had any issues with battery life in terms of like? So I have moved the battery and I've plugged it. I've put it in where it's supposed to be in the case. So, so this is where the battery is. It's a little bit far from you guys, but then you know when you open it out, then you have to take out like this back side. Oh, you have put the battery. In. Yeah, yeah, but you know, like the the rubber is still there. Okay, so, so you have to like remove yeah, the rubber. Exactly. And then when you move the rubber, it comes on. And then we have to like put it in and yeah so once you press it on like this it's going to show like a green light i don't know if you can see it but this is how it looks like and then you know this flex here so most times i like my you know, this thing to be very tight because i'm not really that keen on moving around so i can tighten it or i can loosen it over here i've never used that before <laughs> well That's i have then I just used the default that came with the, the 
thing. Oh, that, so you that's can nice. You can make it through something like that, though. And then here too, you can loosen it. Oh, yeah, this I use all the time. Like, take it a little bit backward and then a little bit forward. You know, that's cool. So, my own is. I don't really know how this works. Is it like you want to take a picture? picture yeah, and then then you just, the phone. yeah, it clicks. You connect this to like your Bluetooth. Okay. And then you can snap. Okay. Like, so it's just snap it. So we are going to do like a quick um, usage of this with a phone. Let's see how it works. Okay. Let's see. So Obi is going to go and get his phone now. So, guys, I'm going to leave a link in my description. You guys should show me love. And you know, subscribe to his channel. Much love that you can just by going to his channel, watching his intro video, or any video that you like on his channel, and click on subscribe and turn on the notification button. Okay, so now we'll jump right into it. So, the first step is to turn on your Bluetooth. Can you just turn your screen to them? So, the Bluetooth is on. I see here Orimo Smart Gimbal. That's it. And it's pairing. It's pairing. And we are. Paired. Okay. Connected. So, can you check this back? And now that uh, we're in connected, the light has stopped blinking. It was blinking green before. Okay. So we could put this Let's in. This. So the on button here. Is... Oh yeah, we didn't even talk about the expansion on this feature. It really expands well. So yeah. even if you have like a big phone an iPhone, whatever, like it would take the whole capacity. And uh, yeah, so you have to put it on if not, it's going to like be free this way. What did you turn on? The, the on button here. Oh, okay. Ah, you see, she I did something she didn't know too. <laughs> I know about the on button, but I didn't know the function. <laughs> so if you don't put it on, it's going to be free. This free. Okay. But when you put it on, yeah, it activates the the static thing okay. that keeps it straight. Oh wow. And free flow. So that's when you can now have this movement. Wow. Yeah. That's what you do, and that's where it is. So now you could do that and take your picture. Bend this this way or whatever way, and then I gotta put my camera on first. Actually, so I just have a quick question. So if you like put it on the tabletop and <laughs> so if you like put it on the tabletop, would it follow you up and down? Yeah, like it's going to still take this same. Ooh, that's a really good shot. If you put it on the tabletop, yeah, it's always going to take this same. You know, move. That's the gimbal move right there. Y'all can see that flex it. That's so you can see like it's a really good shot. Oh, now you see our background. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, so I think this is all the review for me. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything? Like nah, you? I think this covers it. I think we've done justice. If you have any questions, you can ask Cadio. You can leave it in the comment section. Right? Yep, yep. And if you have all the references, you'd probably like her to try. You can give a buzz and a shout out. It's been nice hanging out with you, Cadio. Gotta invite me over some other time. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know Obi has so much energy and his review makes so much sense. So I hope this will help you decide on on getting the Rhino game ball. For those people that have been asking in my unboxing video, this video is specifically for you. And um, thank you for watching this video. Do remember to like, to share, to subscribe, and to the notification button. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have an amazing time. Bye-bye.